Hey guys, Melvin here, and welcome back to another edition of The Daily Shave. Today, we are going to be shaving with Monarch by Noble Order. Absolutely incredible scent. Um, got it blooming in the park. I'm gonna get to loading. So Noble Order, is made by a gentleman called Cody Wick. I believe, if my memory serves me correctly, I believe they're out of uh, Texas, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but this particular scent, Monarch, has to be one of my favorite scents in the whole entire wet shaving world. It is just absolutely spectacular. And you guys know me from watching my videos that I never write down scent notes, but this particular time I did. So this has notes of lavender, face powder, cognac, coffee, orange, neroli, sandalwood, vanilla, and hyacinth. And You can't, to me, in my nose, I can't pick out any, any one in particular scent from there, but it's blended perfectly to create a very, very, very unique scent, in my opinion. Um, and again, this, this just happens to be one of the best smelling soaps ever. I think that should be more than enough soap. Can never go wrong overloading a little bit, you know. So today I'm using a Chubby 3, Simpsons Chubby 3 in Manchurian Badger. Take the rest of this awesomeness here. Uh, and I'm so this scent comes not only in the after soap, the aftershave. He also makes an EDP for this, which smells incredible. And just to give you guys an idea of how much I really love this scent, I own two sets of the same scent, and the EDP. Um, I also know he makes this in bath bars. I haven't been fortunate enough to get one of the bath bars yet, but definitely want to get my hands on some of that soap. But, um, Yeah, this scent is killer. Doesn't take much to whip up an incredible lather from this either, as you can see. And for today's razor, I decided to go with an old restored um, Gillette long The reason they call it long is because these are long, the short ones are pulled back a little bit. So, great razor. I believe it was redone by um, Delta Echo. To be honest with you, I don't even know if they're still in business. Great way to start a shave. 
I already cut a pimple off. Wonderful. But these razors, these old antique razors, they have a little bite to them. They're not like um, modern DEs that are meant to be smooth. These are more on the be careful or, you know, I'll mess you up kind of. I don't know if you can hear it. But the audible feedback on these razors is pretty loud. I think I got about, I don't know, had about two days growth. And I'm using a Gillette platinum blade, believe it or not, it's starting to tug on my skin a little bit, so I know it's time to change the blade. It was a good first pass. So this soap, you know, getting back to the soap, soap smells incredible. And for any of you guys that have never used Noble Order, it's it's a great soap. He makes some really, really, really unique scents. Um, he does a couple of he does a couple of um, homages, but not many. A lot of, most of his soaps, I would say the majority of Cody's soaps are his own scents. I mean, listen, every every artisan out there is gonna do some rendition of somebody else's scent, but for the most part, Cody's are all his own. I love, love, love. I can't say enough things about this scent. I can't. I wouldn't even know what to compare this to. Because nothing else really comes to mind. Um... It smells cologne, fruity, but manly. I, I mean, I would say that the, the Neroli and the Hyacinth pop out to me the most. If I had to pick, if I had to dissect it the best way I could. Because I'm not a perfumer. But the Hyacinth is very pronounced. For those of you that don't know what Hyacinth is, it's a plant. Kind of like a flowery plant. So yeah, I would say that this this is more flowery scent than anything else. Again, if I was forced to um, dissect this in some way, I think the combination of the razor and the old blade. It's messing me up a little bit today. Got a couple of uh, spots there. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy, but
It happens. For what shaver tells you he never cuts his face, he's lying here. A great razor. I actually never tried the short comb. I would really like to get my hands on the short comb so this way I can see if there's a real difference between them. But I just don't want to go out there and buy a rusted short comb just to try the difference. I um, would like to get one that's refinished like this. But that's the uh, that's the nice thing about this hobby, that, you know, you take your time and once you get into certain things, whether it's brushes or whether it's brushes, the slickness on this is crazy, whether it's brushes or razors or whatever it is, you can take your time and hunt down the things that you like, you know, and it's um very cool. See, for me, it's the brushes. I like talking to the different brush makers and giving them ideas and getting ideas back from them and then when they actually put something together for me and they tweak it a little bit and then I finally get an actual brush in my hand and it's what I wanted but with the artisan's take on it it's it's pretty cool I'm just gonna clean up the neck a little bit there's plenty of soap in this brush that's how you, Cody makes some crazy killer suds. Look at this. Look at that. That's, that's, these are mountainous peaks. Look at that. Talk about creamy. Very, very, very good soap. Very good soap. If you guys are into noble order, and already have noble order soaps but haven't tried this particular scent you should i mean don't get me wrong for me i think noble order has probably come out with maybe well put it this way i have i have yet to not like a soap from noble order maybe one of his Maybe one or two of his soaps may have been a little light scent wise for my liking But to say I dislike the scent no maybe Too light of a scent, but not dislike the actual scent I shaved all over the place today. Yeah. I think I was too into talking and shaving. Nonetheless, still got a good shave. Curious. The aftershave is denatured alcohol, witch hazel, water, sodium lactate, uh, probably sorbet, fragrance, carrot extract, seaweed extract. You just went to the face. You know, you know a soap is good when you rinse off your face three times and it's still slick. And here we go. I'm gonna find my little alum block here.
it happens. Like I said, it was a little combination of, because I don't really use that razor often. Not, not that it's an excuse, but, and then, I think the blade, I used the blade a couple of times, too many. Whenever you finish with an Allen bot, try to rinse it, dry it a little bit. Put it back in this little hole and put it on top of here. Believe it or not, I can't tell you. I I think I think I've had that Allen block maybe five years. Maybe five years. They don't if you dry it after you use it, it, it it'll last you forever. If you don't dry it, you know, then your mileage may vary, but for the most part, I've had that a long, long time. Just rinsing on my brush here real quick. Before I wrap this up with the aftershave, which smells equally great. take as much soap as you can out of the brush. And what I do is and then I have a doggy comb and I comb out the brush a little bit. And that's it. And your brush will stay good for album. You invest all these money in these brushes, might as well take care of them. So, turn off that water. And we're gonna go with the Monarch Matching Aftershave Splash. Give that a quick shake. Oh, and this too smells just incredible. Mm. This is a little bit more, a little bit more citrusy, but, but wow. You ever talk about a, um, a soap and aftershave that you can eat? This would be one of them. And not because it's, it, 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 it's fruity or it smells like food, but it smells that good that you just want to see if you can take a bite out of it. Great stuff. And I do, I do have the EDP. So what I'll do is I'll let this die down for maybe 20, 30 minutes. And, and the EDP lasts a long time. So it's not something that it's not something that you have to put a mountain of it on. Just two quick squirts, and you're ready to go. So the star of the show today was Noble Order Monarch. Again, I can't say enough great things about this scent. Great things about the performance. Great things about the guy that makes the soap. You can get this from West Coast Shaving, but you can also get it directly from Noble Order. Um, if you if you like Noble Order, or if you're looking for a soap to give it their first test run, this is the one to do it, Monarch. Absolutely phenomenal scent. I went with the matching aftershave splash. Uh, Chubby Three Manchurian. And I used a Gillette uh, revamped or recoded long comb with a Gillette platinum blade with too many uses on it. <laughs> but um, overall, 
in out of bad shave. I hope all you guys stay well. And uh, thanks for joining me. See you guys next time.